me regarding a thoracic surgery and this semester I hope that you digested all my lectures if you have any questions you can ask after I finish my lectures today we'll discuss the three important subjects first of all what we have a lung abscess second proctitis and third one TB this is, we took the surgical approach, not a medical approach of that one. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Lung abscess. Lung abscess, it is a localized area of suppuration and cavitation in the lung parenchyma, which are not obvious due to the TB. I mean, this is not a specific infection or other specific infection like TB or sarcoidosis. Previously we called lung abscess those associated with other disease or maybe a condition that suppress our natural immunity of the body, like in diabetes, mellitus, or in neuromic, or the patient took a steroid, or any patient have any immunocompromised disease. This is a diagram to show the lung abscess, how it will, it will be completely يعني, different from the empyema of the lung, that is this collection of pus inside the pleural cavity here, the pus formation inside the lung parenchyma. You see there is an air and fluid level always, and don't be mistake. Sometimes with the rupture of hydatis cyst, maybe as a part of differential diagnosis in the chest accessory. What is the most common etiology of that one? We have many things of the etiology. Six one, we have five tab. The most important one is aspiration. Second, due to the bronchial obstruction, or maybe due post pneumonia, or maybe have an embolic infection, or maybe other causes. Regarding aspiration of the infectious material is a common mechanism that occur. When this patient have a dysphagia, if you remember the lectures of the IT, we mentioned if there is a GERD or a kinesia, maybe this patient have the regurge of the foot material and part of that it go and related to the lung. Or maybe a patient have compromised consciousness, like in case of the severe alcoholism. Yani this is always occur on Saturday and Sunday night. البارات بالبارات تشرب وتسكر وهي ماكلة maybe have a possibility in this patient have يعني to inhale of some food material into formation of the lung abscess in the future. Maybe due to the seizure disorder, unfortunately a patient will have epilepsy, have attack of the epilepsy during eating and some of the food material maybe go to the respiratory system. Or maybe patient have a CVA, cerebrovascular accident, or in case of the head trauma with full stomach, or maybe have some patient need an emergency operation and prepared for any surgery, we do for them uh, general anesthesia, during general anesthesia, maybe a spillage of the stomach content and go to the uh, bronchial tree. This is in these cases, yani, in emergency, we yani, tell the anesthetist, this is a patient, this is not a fasting, so he do a crush induction anesthesia. Yani, the tube malatne, he will be pressed on the ossa vagus and he inserted the endotracheal tube to prevent any regurg material from the stomach to the bronchial tree. Or maybe this patient had myasthenia gravis. 
or maybe have a system vomiting or in severe cases of bronchiectasis or poor oral hygiene or dental infection. These are foresight of the infection that will be held to the bronchial lead, lead to the lung suppuration. Second thing is when you have a bronchial obstruction, any distal segment to the obstruction, it leads to the incipitated of secretion, and this is incipitated of secretion. It is a good focus for development of the infection and later on lead to the suppuration lung abscess. Or maybe due to this retention of sputum, especially in patients have head injury during the Intensive care unit, the RCU, the RCU, this patient maybe goes some inhibited of secretion. It should be always, yeah, you make a bronchial toilet to evacuate it, any inhibited secretion. Second, maybe have a bronchial carcinoma. This study we have lung abscess, especially in adenocarcinoma, not in sequimus carcinoma, or maybe due to the foreign body inhalation. Other things, post pneumonia, especially staph, aureus, or we have either Klebsiella, Klebsiella, or even E. coli, even E. coli maybe have developed of the lung abscess. Or embolic infection, embolic infection, this is when have a thrombotic, a thrombotic by any thrombotic, like in the thrombophilobitis, thrombophilobitis of the vein, thrombophilobitis of the vein. This is, it will be the infected thrombi from the deep vein system going to the circulation, going to the heart, from the heart going to the lungs. Other causes may be after chest trauma, either planted trauma or penetrating trauma may be needed to formation, or maybe due to the amoebic abscess, especially coming from the liver, that it will be eroded a diaphragm and going to the lung, to the lung, to the right lower, right lower lobe. Pathology, it is an acute pathogenic, it is acute biogenic pneumonitis, and respond to the aspiration, it will be have a septic materials lead later on to the liquefaction, necrosis, and other secondary to the bacteria lead to the proliferative and leukocyte invasion to the produce an acute abscess as a liquefied and necrotic material, and this is empty through the draining of bronchus. Well, this is the patient. He will be have a foul, foul, foul smell with the infected sputum. This necrotic cavity containing an air fluid level is formed. Microorganism, most common is an bacteria, so we have air and fluid level. in the posterior segment, the right upper lobe. Posterior segment of right upper lobe. Or maybe an apical segment of left and lower lobe. Either apically, 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 segment of the left lower lobe or posterior segment of the right upper lobe. Always part that have a more air than, and more ventilation than perfusion. More ventilation than perfusion. And these are, it is good area, good area to focus of this infection in that part because have a good air without a blood supply good. So it is a good media to develop a lung saturation. 
clinical representation of that one, typical history of the upper respiratory tract infection. The patient, it will be a toxic fever and bilasia. Chest pain is not uncommon, but can occur. Hemoptysis not always occur. Periodic symptoms is always occur. A chronic have from inadequate drainage of the cavity, and when you have a lung abscess, a chronic lung abscess from inadequate drainage of the cavity, and this is it will be the subsequent of that one. The body defense lead to formation of thick wall to capsulate that abscess. the start of cough and appearance of the cavity. Here, there is no correlation between a sign and symptoms and radiological. Maybe you have a severe sign and symptoms, we have a minimum radiological appearance. Later on, we have less sign and symptoms, but more obvious of radiological appearance. So, we took a sputum for culture, either staph aureus or proteus or E. coli or Klebsiella, Klebsiella, or Pseudomonas, the worst one. Also, we can do a bronchoscope to exclude this is obstruction due to the carcinoma or foreign body. And also, if you can take from the past for culture and sensitivity and cytology. This is what will be appear, the lung abscess in the chest x-ray. Also, you can see the air fluid, air fluid on the right lung, right lung, right lung. And this is a CT scan will be appear. A thick wall, a thick wall, a thick wall of the cavity, and there is a fluid level with the air above, the dark one, the black one, it is an air. Now, how you can treat it? First of all, you should be have a good nutritional status, breathing exercise, and a prolonged antibiotic should be according to the culture and sensitivity at least you keep for six to eight weeks of your treatment. In my opinion, chloramphenicol, maybe it is a sensitive, but now we have a new generation of antibiotic, either yani, third generation of cephalosporin or fourth generation of cephalosporin. Also, it is a potent and it can eradicate it of this organism. Bronchoscopy sometimes help to evacuate it of the pus. And always the most important here, the postural drainage. Here, it is something important to put it in your mind. In the adult, either we told in the posterior segment of right upper lobe or in apical segment of left lower lobe. An adult, if we have, and the right side have a lung abscess, the patient should rely on his left side. Why? Because we can drainage from this right lung to the right bronchus to the trachea and he can expel of that pus to the outside. But in childhood, in childhood, it is in opposite things. Yeah, and when you have an infected part, it should be put it on dependent part. Yeah, and if you have infection on the right lung, it should be there on the right side. Why? Because the child child have a poor cough reflex. So when you put it in normal part in dependent well, pathological and upward. So it will be spillage of that pus from the infected lung to a normal lung. 
because have a poor calf reflex, not like in the adult, and he can have a calf and sputum, expectorated of that one. For always, always an adult, you keep a healthy part dependent, affected up, and childhood in opposite, we keep the infected one independent and healthy in upper one. Now, principle of therapy. You should be, first of all, identify of the etiological organism by the cultural sensitivity, and you start your antibiotic AI machine four to six weeks to eight weeks. And you should be provision of adequate drainage in acute stage to prevent it to subsequent to develop a chronic abscess. Now, physiotherapy is very important. As I mentioned, a postural drainage is very important for one. And the proctoscopy, this is also for diagnostic and for therapeutic one. Emergency surgical treatment, it is we do an external drainage only in a specific situation. What do I mean by external drainage? Sometimes we do under screening of the ultrasound or the CT scan, we can do a tube thoracostomy, go through the chest wall and through the Neural cavity to the lung and to separate it. But I always, always, I'm not to prefer this way because it will be sometimes spillage of that pus in the thoracic cavity and lead to the development of empyema. I always not advise to do it. Okay. Now, what are the indications for the surgery? You should be remember that very well. First of all, you should have and control acute disease. That can you give a treatment for six to eight weeks. Still, the patient have complaining, toxic malaria and loss of weight, cough, sputum. Second one, you have, Danny, have change of this lung abscess from acute to the chronic stage by we have a thick wall, thick wall, of the cavity, thick wall of the cavity. And there is any suspicion of the carcinoma or this patient have significant hemoptysis and the cavity, it is larger than two centimeter and thick wall after five to six weeks of treatment was still persistent of sebutum. Acute complication may be lead to the bronchopulmonary fistula. The many bronchopulmonary fistula. It will be worsening the condition. Maybe also lead to the empyema. Chronic stage, why we have? This is, it will be persistent of signs and symptoms or, and have a recurrent, recurrent, recurrent then pneumonia and lead to the hemoptysis. What are the indicators of your success of your treatment? If you have medical treatment, if you have duration of symptoms before initiation of the therapy, and if you catch this patient in early and you give a proper treatment, a proper dose, a proper period, maybe you eradicated in acute stage, not to change to the chronic stage. Also depend on the diameter of the initial size of the cavity. When it is a, a smaller one, maybe eradicated easily, but it is a larger size and thick wall, it is difficult to eradicate it and maybe have chance to develop of the chronic lung abscess. Surgery. Their cutaneous drainage and the CT scan, I will not prefer it, and I'm not prefer this one. I'm not do it, but this is you should be put it in your mind. Maybe they do in another center or another one. Maybe he do it, but I just like of oh, this procedure because of the risk of the development of fistula. Second, maybe have impairment. Thoracotomy we can do either, yani by resection, by resection. Resection of the segment or the lobe if you have developed a bronchopleural fistula with it. And 
Third one, by uh, embolization of the bronchial artery, severe cases of hemoptysis, and unfit for the surgery, this patient, we can do an angio, and by angio, we have a selective pulmonary angio, and this is by doing gel form, a spherical, injected to the artery to a stop of the bleeding. Mortality rate of that lung abscess in the Fulhani, in the last decade or in the last century, last century it is 25%. Now it is less than 5%. Less than 